welcome to the second part of the Katir V5 basic series. Again, I will make a very simple model with very simple sketches. Select plane, hide the projected yellow elements. There will be another video regarding these projected elements especially the projected axis system. Okay, uh, make a rectangle, remove the four auto constraints because they refer to the already hidden projected yellow elements. Make the sketch is a constraint. it symmetric to this axis, make a coincident. So I always try to make, to build my models in a symmetric way, but I don't use symmetry in 3D, just in the sketch and with the extrusions or the features if it's possible. So I will make a pad with mirrored extent and OK. Now I want to make a pocket into this solid. So you could sketch, you sketch <laughs> on this face, on the back side or on the plane. You should always do your sketches on reference elements uh, on planes. So I will do it on a plane. Something to take note right here. If you want to select the projected elements, one way to do it is like this. Yeah. If you want to do it like this, take note there is a plus sign below your mouse pointer, which means if I move it right here, I will make a copy of the already existing pad. This is something which happens very often to beginners. So, to avoid this, I will redo it. You would have to select this symbol, which means you could select elements above already existing geometry, like this one. Yeah, hide it. And I want to make a pocket. Always try to make all the constraints yourself. There will be another video regarding the constraints and the problems which will occur. Press the shift key on your keyboard so you don't catch anything by accident. I will catch the last coincidence like this. Make this one distance 20. Make this one a distance 20 again. Make these two elements symmetric. Okay. Put a measure there and another one right here. So now I got a symmetric sketch. It's easy constraint and I can make a pocket, mirror it with dimension or up to last in both directions, whichever way you want, which is a, which design intent you're looking for. I will do it with mirror extent and OK. This would be the best way to do it like this. If you want to use the already existing geometry or you have to, let's remove this one. 
you could do it like this or you should do it like this. First, I show you the wrong, the bad way. The bad way would be to select this line and then to select this edge or that edge or this face. With these three possibility, possibilities, uh, the best one would be to select the face because the edges are boundary elements. The face is not a boundary element. So, for example, like this and make a coincidence. This would work, of course, but, big but, if someone takes a look at this sketch, he will not notice that you referenced this line to that edge, or that edge, or that face. He would have to check this coincidence and to look where it's connected to. Yeah, so that's sort of annoying. You would notice if you change the sketch of the first pad, of course, because the pocket will adapt. That may be intended, and in this simple model, you can still understand it. But if your model got more complex, you will get problems. So you should avoid it. If it's not possible to avoid it, you could do it like this. Let's remove this constraint. You could use these 3D geometry projection tools. This, take this one, select the face or the edge. Best way would be to select the face. You get straight line. This is a standard element. I set it to construction. And then you could make a constraint between this line and that line. It's a coincidence. That's more like it. Yeah. So if someone takes a look at the sketch, he will see you used 3D geometry as reference. Let's remove this line. Set this one to standard. Take this line right here. So you could of course make a pocket without this uh, limit. Let's remove it completely. This would work as well, but it's not good practice. So again, I will project this face and now I will trim these two lines and that one and that one. Please take note, the projected elements still exist. They're not deleted. So I need a measure from this point to that point. It should be 20. Yeah. But now this pocket has a relation to this pad. Take a look at the parents' children. You will see this pocket depends on the sketch 2 and the sketch 2 is children of pad 1. And usually that is not what you want to do. Because if your models become more complex, these relationships become more and more complex. And the computer can handle it, but can you? Usually the user can't do it. So please try to avoid to reference already existing 3D geometry if you want to use it or if you need to use it, then please use the projection tools and you will get the yellow elements which are easy to recognize in a sketch. So everyone will know that you used 3D geometry. So th thanks and up to next time.